There are new developments tonight in Kentucky's U.S. Senate race. As a major supporter of Allison Lundergan Grimes is no longer running campaign ads for her in Kentucky. It's all fallout coming as national Democrats continue to react to Grimes as refusing to say whether she voted for President Barack Obama. WHS 11's political editor Joe Arnold also reports tonight. The White House press secretary is weighing in on that today. Why are you reluctant to give an answer on whether or not you voted for President Obama? Bill, there's no reluctancy. Behind the scenes, political observers on both sides were surprised Grimes stuck to the same response, which has caused her considerable grief. It became a laughing matter at a White House news conference today. I, I've, I've seen some of the news reports about, uh, about her campaign, but I, I don't know. I mean, I'll tell say? you that I, I voted for the president. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would the Senate bring Why would the Senate candidate say I voted for him? A Democrat. Why wouldn't a Democrat? Uh, I get, you'd, have to ask, you'd have to ask her in her campaign. Um, and, uh, On the issue of, of her not saying that who she voted for in 2008 and 2012, why not say it tonight? It's a principle. She strongly believes in the principle as the chief elections officer and something that the Constitution in Kentucky guarantees everyone is the right to a secret ballot. You boldly said you voted for the president. Now, I assume that was in 2008 and 2012? <laughs> Bold twice? That's, that, I've, I've been a long-time supporter. Uh, do you believe you have violated the sanctity of the ballot box uh, by telling us who you voted for? Uh, <laughs> have you broken any constitutional uh, privilege? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that for you guys to decide. <laughs> for her, it's about principles. And nothing else in this debate could speak louder to the kind of senator she's going to be. Somebody that stands up for their principles, that stands up for the Constitution of Kentucky. When we first aired Grimes' comments last week, the majority of people commenting on WHCS 11's Facebook page agreed with Grimes saying none of your business. It is not known today if Grimes' refusal is at all connected to the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee's decision to stop buying TV time to help Grimes' campaign. This two-week $1.4 million ad buy expired yesterday. And today, National Democratic ads remain off the air in Kentucky. Grimes gets the chance tomorrow to steer the conversation toward her strengths when Hillary Rodham Clinton appears with her in downtown Louisville tomorrow night. In the newsroom, Joe Arnold.